Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And this morning, we're going to talk very briefly about the valve wobble test. Now, Lycomi makes a fixture, and this is an aftermarket fixture made by a different company, and it's got a couple of things that you don't have on the Lycomi fixture. There's a base plate that attaches to the cylinder, the two screws that you use to attach the plate to the top of the cylinder, your dial indicator, um, a bar for reaching underneath the rocker shaft so you don't hurt it, and finally, this little extension, which does not come in the Lycoming kit. Let's talk about this extension. This is what makes the kit so useful to use. As you'll notice here, we already have the extension on the valve, and all we had to do to do that was to take off the rotator cap off of the exhaust valve. This is the exhaust valve. And this is the cylinder that failed on Dave Domagala's uh, Tiger. This is the one that had the, the piston rings fall out during the wrench bending. What we do is we've mounted the block with the two screws and the two appropriate holes. The dial indicator is mounted and the post is on the ring. The nice thing about having this extension post on the valve is notice the valve, the keepers, and the springs are still on the valve. We haven't had to take all that off with this tool. So it's a matter of locking the plate putting in the valve and, get, and then putting the extension on, and then you can take a direct reading. So here we are at the gauge, and I'm going to set it to zero. So we're now at zero. So now let's put pressure on the valve. And as you can see, we have moved 22 thousandths of an inch in one direction. We're going to apply pressure in the opposite direction. And since I'm doing this one-handed, I just did it a moment ago, and I was able to get... 24 deflection in the opposite direction. So if you take the 22 and the 24, um, that's 46, and that's pretty good against a 30 thousandths limit. So this valve guide is completely worn, and we know it's completely worn because we can see the ash on the valve and the coking on the valve. So anyway, that's a real quick look at the valve wobble test. This is a fixture. It comes from aircraft spruce. It comes with the dial indicator without the dial indicator. The nice thing is when you get it with their dial indicator, it's already got a foot on the back for uh, mounting to the, to the plate. Uh, makes it very easy and very quick to use, too. We broke one of our dial indicator feet, so we ordered another whole set. This allows us to have, while we're reading one valve, we can be setting up for the next cylinder, so it makes it go a little quicker. So we hope you found this informative. We hope you like what you see. And keep those suggestions coming, and have a good day flying your Grumman. Thanks for watching.